Assalamu alaikum. In this video, we are going to be explaining operating systems in uh, Sahar University. This is the first lecture, first week. So, an operating system is a program that acts as an intermediary between end user and the computer hardware. So, what you need to understand here in this uh, class is that we are dealing with the operating system. Operating systems is is like Windows, Linux, or Macintosh for Apple users. And these systems, they are programs, like just like other programs. It's like this program that I'm interacting with. But this program will, can, will be responsible for the communication between the end user and the hardware. So the program here that I'm using right now is not communicating directly with the hardware, like the CPU and the memory. Okay, so I need the operating system for me to interact with the hardware, the CPU, the memory, uh, RAM, and uh, the main storage, which is the SSD and, hard and uh, HDD, in an efficient way. So it will be faster and uh, more response, more reliable. Okay? طيب هنا the operating system يعني هو برنامج مثل أي برنامج ثاني. لكن هذا البرنامج يتواصل مع ال CPU ومع ال RAM ومع storage. يعني يكون مع ال hardware. يتعامل مباشرة مع الهاردوير هذا البرنامج اللي أنا أستخدمه اللي هو اللي هو ال مايكروسوفت باوربوينت طبعا هذا ما ما يتعامل مع الهاردوير مباشرة يتعامل مع السيستم واللي هو الويندوز والويندوز يتعامل مع الهاردوير فالهاردوير السيستم يعني الأوبريتنج سيستم ينظم لنا التعامل بين اليوزر وبين الهاردوير أوبريتنج سيستمز أيم تو إكسكيوت user programs and make solving problems easier. So this will help us to uh, do what we want as fast as possible. Make the computer system convenient to use. So this, the operating system will, will take care of dealing with the CPU, telling what the CPU, uh, telling to the CPU what to do. Uh, it will make uh, error solving. If we have a crash in the program, it will terminate the program, it will uh, manage the memory, it will allocate memory for each program inside of the RAM, and so on. Uh, the user hardware, we, we want to use the user, the computer hardware in an efficient matter, matter, as we have said before, we want to let the system manage the, the, the hardware so we can uh, deal with it efficient, efficiently. So an OS, OS يعني means operating system, are resource allocator and a, a control program. Resource allocator means that we have resources like the RAM and the storage and the peripherals like the mouse, the keyboard. These are these are resources. We use these to interact with the with the computer. So the operating system will allocate these for us. It will make the resources uh, deal with each other as best as possible. And it's a control program. Control program يعني إنه يتحكم بال بالبرامج الثانية. يتحكم بالفلو في البرمجة في ال في ال في التعامل مع الكمبيوتر. هو اللي يحدد لنا شو نسوي داخل الكمبيوتر وشو ما شو ما شو ما نقدر نسويه يعني. Uh, manages all resources. This fair uh, resource use. Fair resource we use. We mean uh, we uh, we let each program has its uh, best possible way to uh, use the RAM, the CPU, the peripherals, the screen, anything else. Controls the execution of the programs. As we have said, it will deal with the programs. It will uh, make them execute faster, and it will. Uh, <clears throat> manage each program on its own and so on okay so uh, computer startup we need to the bootstrap program so we can load the operating system when we start the computer from uh, idle so let's say we have turned off our computer and we want to boot it again we click on the button that will uh, start the computer and then the bootstrap program will start immediately okay طبعا هذا البوتستا بوتستراب بروجرام بيكون يعني هذا 
برنامج واحدة يعني خارج السيستم لما نشغل الكمبيوتر على طول هذا يشتغل هذا البوت ستراب واللي هو هو هذا اللي بيحمل الاوبريتنج سيستم واللي هو الويندوز او الماك على الرام تيبكلي ات از ستورد ان ذا رام ريد اونلي ميموري ريد اونلي ميموري مينز ا ميموري تشيب ذات كان نوت بي ذا كود انسايد اوف ذات ميموري تشيب كان نوت بي تشينجد اي بي رام ذس مينز ذات ذس ميموري تشيب هاز Read only memory, but sometimes you can change this if you have the permission, if you have maybe a password or something. Okay, so this is secure. So nothing will change this program. Okay, generally known as a firmware. Firmware, يعني bootstrap, اللي هو اللي بيشغلنا الكمبيوتر. So the firmware will start the computer up. Initial initializes all aspects of the system, so it will boot up the the system from start. Okay, it loads the operating system kernel. Kernel, which is the thing, meaning the basic, meaning the program that is inside the operating system. The program that that runs all all the time in the background, and it starts the execution of the program. Okay, so the bootstrap will allow us to start the operating system. We'll talk about this later. Uh, computer system structure so we have users and they communicate with the computer using the system the system will communicate with the hardware like the cpu and the 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 screen or something else like the ram and, and the memory and so on uh, so we are using we are the users we deal with the system the system will uh, communicate with the hardware computer systems can be divided into four components hardware which is provides the basic computer resources like the cpu the memory the io input output devices and so on the operating system the operating system is windows linux macintosh or any other operating system controls and <coughs> coordinates use of hardware among various applications and users So this is self-explanatory. We have said before the operating system will control the, the the hardware, so you can use it efficiently. Application programs like this here that I'm using right now, uh, application programs define the ways in which the system resource resources are used to solve the computing problems. يعني الحين هنا شيء اللي أنا أريده إني أسوي ديسبلاي على على الشاشة. So the thing that I want to do here is I want to display something on the screen. So I interact with this program here, which is this. When I click on these uh, slides, they will show me different slides. So this is a problem that I want to do. So when I click here, the program will tell the system to display something on the screen. The system will tell the hardware, which is the CPU, to tell the other hardware, which is the, the screen that I have, to display this slide on the screen. And so on. Okay. So and the users, we people, the people that are using the the computer, or sometimes the other computers on the internet that will tell your computer to do something, like servers or any other computer that hosts and can communicate with your computer. And this is the same here. We interact with the CPU. The CPU will interact with the memory, so through the memory will interact with the disk, the 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 uh, SS the USB controllers, the graphic adapters. The graphic adapter will control the monitor. The CPU, the USB controllers will control the mouse, the keyboard, and other other uh, <coughs> aspects of the system. So we have chips here. هذه قطع يعني يسموهن chips. CPU هي هو chip. فيكون في يعني مثل عقل الكمبيوتر هذه الاطراف واللي هن الديسك كنترولر اليو اس بي كنترولر اليو اس بي كنترولر ندخل فيه اليو اس بي فبيكون يا اما كيبورد يا اما ماوس يا اما برنتر وهذه اللي يتحكمن بال هذا البريفرلز ويتواصلن مع السي بي يو والميموري اوكي سو ذس از لايك انذر سي بي يو بات ات از سبيسيفيك فور Discs. This is another CPU, but it is specific specific for uh, mouse, keyboard, and printer. And we have the main CPU, which is 
responsible for controlling these other CPUs, control units. Okay, computer system operations. IO, input devices and the CPU can execute currently. Currently means we can execute, we can uh, use the CPU, we can use the hardware, which is uh, the keyboard, the mouse, and other input output devices at the same time. Each devi device controller is in charge of a particular device. Here we have said uh, we have a CPU that is dedicated for the controlling the disks. And then we have a USB controller which controls the, uh, this, the mouse and the keyboard. And these controllers interact with the CPU and the CPU will uh, manage all of these. Okay? So, these, each device controller has a local buffer. Local buffer means uh, some memory, some amount of memory inside of the computer. Okay, and this will allow the, the, the controller to, to use this memory to communicate with the CPU through the main bus. Okay, طيب هنا عندنا أجهزة خاصة بالتحكم بال USB والتحكم بالديسك اللي هو الستورج يعني إنزين فهذه ال ال controllers بيتعاملن مع ال CPU بي بيتواصلن مع ال CPU عن طريق local buffer واللي هو الميموري ميموري Okay, each device controller has a local buffer. يتعاملن so we use the, the device controller communicates with the system by using the drivers. Drivers are, if I go to the device manager, you see here, uh, this driver here is, is responsible for communicating with the battery's controller. This device, this driver here is, it's a program that is responsible for communicating with the keyboard. So this driver will com communicate with the controller, the USB controller here. It will tell it to uh, input something from the keyboard and so on. So we use these drivers to control, to communicate with the, with the controllers. Okay. <clears throat> CPU moves data from to the main memory and to from the local buffers. مثل ما قلنا هذه ال controllers uh, so we have said well, these controllers have a specific amount of memory and we use the CPU to bring this memory to the main memory which is the RAM and uh, we take the, uh, some information from the RAM to the, to the controller buffer which is the memory for the controller and so the, this, this memory is used to communicate between the CPU the main brain and the uh, other devices that are connected with the C with the computer. Okay, um, I/O input output devices is from the device to local buffer of controller. I don't understand this. <clears throat> okay, so as we have said, we have user and other system programs. We have the user interface which is graphical user interface like this this is a graphical user interface this here is a graphical user interface also and uh, we interact with this by clicking on it and then this the graphical user interface will communicate with the system using the system calls and then the system will uh, communicate with the hardware okay so we also have the command line command line is like the CMD command prompt here this we can instead of clicking on the screen we type in on the keyboard and tell what the what we want the computer to do so let's say I wanted to test my latency between me and Google server so let's say ping www.google.com dot com and then I press enter. As you can see, it will uh, have it will send messages to the Google server, and then it will receive messages from the Google server. So this is command command line, and the graphical user interface is like this. Don't worry about the batch. I don't know what that is. Uh, just uh, you you should know that this is the user interface, 
and the user interface connects with the system using system calls program execution we have input output operations file management systems and so on and this is all used to communicate with the hardware operating systems provide an environment for execution of programs and services to programs and users مثل ما قلنا user interfaces عندنا نوعين هو command line و graphical user interface we have two types of graphic of user interfaces command line and graphical user interface program execution and then uh, input output operations so we interact with the graphical user interface we execute the program which which is like this and then it will display on the screen or it will display sound or something else okay so this is we interact with the interface the program executes and then it will show us the feedback يعني هنا نحن نتحاك نتعامل مع الانترفيس الانترفيس بيقول حال البروجرام شو يسوي بعدين البروجرام بروجرام بيسوي لنا انبوت اوتبوت اوبريشنز يعني في يهم يسوي لنا ديسبلاي على السكرين او انه يسوي لنا صوت مثلا او انه ياخذ الانبوت مالنا فروم من الكيبورد ومن الماوس فايل مانجمنت فايل سيستم مانيبيوليشن مثل ما قلنا نحتاج ان نتعامل مع الميموري ف so we create so we have we need to interact with the memory so we need to create files delete files and uh, copy files and so on this is just file manipulation symbol communications we communicate with the computer we communicate with other computers through the internet and uh, through a shared memory the cpu will communicate with the device controllers through the main memory and the buffer the local buffer for each de device controller and so on error detection if there is a program that will uh, that crashes the operating system will not stop it will solve the problem it will uh, terminate the program it will tell us that the program has an issue and we want to solve it and so on resource allocation we have said that we are using the CPU the memory the input output devices easy okay so accounting sometimes someone else in your family will use the computer so we create accounts protecting uh, protection and security we have uh, antiviruses we have windows defender we have uh, <clears throat> the kernel which will uh, not allow any program to use our memory and our cpu that's in a way that will harm the computer okay so the user application will tell use methods to tell the system to do something so it will use the system calls system calls يعني انه نقول لي السيستم نريد احنا نسوي الشيء الفلاني بعد هو بيخ... بيتواصل مع السي بي يو مع الميموري وبيسوي الشيء اللي نريد احنا <تصفيق> بسيطه 3 step uh, first we use the user application we tell it to do something it will do the thing we want by sending messages to the uh, kernel which is which will then communicate with the cpu the cpu will communicate with the memory and it will take stuff from the memory it will put stuff in the memory it will delete stuff and so on so this is these these are the operations that we are using system call parameter passing there are three methods of used to pass parameters to the operating system system parameters passing يعني انه احنا نعطي السيستم معلومات عشان يتعامل معنا ف اذا ضغطت هنا هنا اذا ضغطت هنا انا اعطي السيستم معلوماته <تصفيق> اقول انه اريدك تروح في البيج 12 اريدك تسواها على السكرين فنستخدم الريجسترز وي يوز ذا ريجسترز تو كوميونيكيت وذ ذا كمبيوتر ذا ريجسترز ار ا بيس اوف ميموري انسايد اوف ذا سي بي يو ات از فاستر ذان ذا رام اند ات از ليس ان سايز اتس سمول ان سايز ميبي اتس 1 ميجا بايت اور 2 ميجا بايتس 64 بيتس اي ثينك ذير ار 64 بيتس 
registers uh, in this CPU that I have. So each, each CPU will have a different size for each register. So this is a, a fast memory that the CPU uses so we can do calculations. And we can pass parameters to them. This is the easiest way. So we <clears throat> take the parameters from the RAM directly and we put them inside of the registers so the, the register can hold only a sim a single piece of information so maybe it's a name or a, a number or something that we want to do something on and uh, this is only used for simple operations okay the other method is parameters stored in a block or table inside of the memory and to <clears throat> and the second method is parameters that are stored inside of the memory inside of a table or a block in memory which is the RAM and the address of the block is passed as a parameter to the register uh, so we have the RAM and the RAM is divided into blocks of memory each segment of the RAM has an address so each segment in the RAM has an address which is a hexadecimal number so it's like a it's like a label like if you have a box and you label this box is for um, computer parts so you know that inside of this computer inside of this box you will have computer parts okay and uh, we give the registers only the address of the table or the or the, bl the block in memory and then the cpu will go through this block and this table it will take the information it wants from there and it will do calculations in them and then return them back to the memory okay so the third method is we pass parameters to the stack we push parameters to the stack and uh, by the program and then the system will take these parameters from the stack and then it will do the operations on them general purpose operating system is a very large program various ways of system structures we have simple structure which is used only for specific machines let's say in a car in a car we have an operating system that is used for only that specific model of, a, of the car so the car will if you take this operating system for the car and you install it inside of your computer it will not work because we have specified this to be only used in 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 the car so it's just a simple structure the unix system structure is like the windows structure we have the user interface we have a kernel and we have um, terminal controllers device controllers the main memory memory controllers and physical memory so um it's like windows this is like windows structure the operating system is divided into a number of layers for the uh, layered approach um this is like this thing here it's the same <clears throat> but it maybe have more than three layers here we have two layers three layers the user interface the kernel and then the hardware sometimes it will, will have we will have more than one layer more than three layers <clears throat> uh micro kernel system structure uh this is a micro kernel which is which has maybe less functionality than the more complex systems like uh windows or unix so this has less less complexity okay so the system boot when power initialized on the system execution starts at a fixed memory location firmware in the rom the read only memory used to hold initial uh, boot code so this is the bootstrap we have said the bootstrap is a program that will go inside of the main memory which is the SSD or the hard disk it will take the it will find the operating system there and then it will load it inside of the RAM and then we can load the system on on the computer and we can use it <clears throat> operating systems must be made available to hardware to so the hardware can start it so a small piece of code 
the boost the bootstrap loader stored in the ram we have said the ram is a read only memory locates the kernel loads it into the memory and starts it so this is separate than the main memory we have said this is separate than the main memory it will go inside of the main memory it will take the system it will load it on the system on the ram and then the system will start sometimes this will load in two phases um there is a pro another program that will which will go inside of the main memory sometimes two-step process where boot lock block at a fixed location load by loaded by the ROM code which loads the bootstrap from the disk so sometimes we'll load we will load the bootstrap from the disk and then the bootstrap will search for the operating system inside of the disk and then it will upload it to the RAM. 